Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be discussing the battery performance on my brand new Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus. Now this is a flagship phone released by Xiaomi and come with top-end specs including Snapdragon 821 and 4GB of RAM. There's also a 6GB variant which I'm sure you can buy as well. Okay so before we start uh, discussing the battery performance let's get into settings and about phone and see which version of Android uh, this phone is running. As you can see here the model number Mi 5S Plus so it's running Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 along with uh, not the latest security patch that will update but latest enough okay so me ui uh, global 8.0 version which is a stable version along with like i said cpu which is snapdragon 821 and 4 gigs of ram okay so now let's quickly get into the screenshots guys in my usual style i'll be showing you screen on times on both wi-fi and 4g and some other stats on the first screenshot as you can see uh, nothing much here it took me six days to kill it uh, well it wasn't really actually six days uh, i got it from somebody else uh, brandon from 3 uk uh, he was the one who sold me this phone so i got it off him almost brand new so he had been using it for a while so i left the battery as it was so when it went down to around 15 percent uh, i put it on charge as you can um, i'm sure as you guys know uh, the phone supports qualcomm quick charge 3.0 so i was really keen to find out how long would it take to charge the battery by the way the phone comes with 3000 800 milliampere battery on a 5.7 inch full hd screen so uh, i was a bit skeptical about fast charging but uh, i'm glad to report that charging is uh, pretty quick for a massive huge battery like that i will be showing you some more stats later in the video okay so let's have a look at the next screenshot then uh, here i was to testing the standby time i wanted to see how good uh, xiaomi's optimizations are for me ui so at around 255 just before at three o'clock in the morning as you can see the battery was down to 81 percent so i left it as it was and then i checked it around just past midday uh, in the in the morning or rather the afternoon and you can see the battery went down to 78 percent so it had lost a three percent in about and um, just over nine hours so not too bad a decent enough standby drain okay then i kept on using the phone um, after a full charge the battery went down to 49 percent here i was just using wi-fi guys it was no 4g lte or nothing like that purely on wi-fi so i really wanted to see how it would affect the battery and how much screen on time would i be getting it okay so as you can see here youtube uh, soundcloud in my typical way i was uh, uh, connected to my bose uh, bluetooth headphones wireless headphones i listen to soundcloud which i often do guys as you know in my videos i often should tell you that i listen to a lot of music and so was the case here nothing different a uh, youtubing as well a uh, social media google plus pages manager everything else and eventually after the battery going down to like i said 49 percent it was almost halfway through i was able to achieve a total screen on time off four hours which is extremely good this is the kind of screen on time you expect from a normal regular uh, screen of uh, a flagship phone with a quad hd screen like lg g5 or the s7 edge or the s7 and the htc 10 so they normally give you around four and a half to five hours of screen on time on full battery but obviously they have a quad hd screens which uh, drains the battery a lot quicker in this case uh, xiaomi i think uh, they have made a good decision by keeping uh, our screen full hd only and not quad hd that definitely helps the battery and also because the battery is absolutely massive at 3800 only for a 1080p panel so that's why we should expect some very good battery stats okay going further down as you can see the battery went down to three percent if you look in the top right corner there and i was using wi-fi my instagram social media bits and bobs and eventually i was able to achieve in fact i also uh, made some voice calls on it as well so a uh, call wise there was no issue the users on the other end were able to hear me very clearly so no issues also there whatsoever so after a long day uh, streaming bluetooth and also uh, making voice calls using wi-fi i was eventually uh, after two days that uh, that's how long how long it took me to kill the battery as you can see here the graph lining show i was usually mostly using wi-fi and not 4g eventually i was able to achieve seven hours and 24 minutes of screen on time which is simply amazing and that's the kind of screen on time which will i'm sure be um, you know um, give most more than 98 percent of people happy i'm sure there are phones out there we can give you eight and even nine hours of, nine hours of screen on time but for this kind of screen on time i'm sure like i said more than 98 percent of people should be happy enough uh, what with this phone can achieve now here on the next screenshot i actually uh, tested how long would it take to charge the phone and just past uh, one o'clock in the morning 1 11 uh, the battery was down to three uh, percent so i started charging it from three percent and then eventually at 253 
uh, it went all the way up to 96 percent so uh, 111 211 so just under two hours i was able to get the battery from three percent to all the way up to 96 percent so the phone actually supports qualcomm a quick charge 3.0 and you must be thinking this is uh, still not fast enough the reason for that is guys because the phone has got like i said an absolutely huge massive battery inside at 3800 so obviously it will take time but keeping in mind the battery is that big i think this is still uh, not bad and you should be able to uh, uh, charge the phone even quicker because most people will not let the battery go down all the way to three percent most people will probably be charging around say 25 30 percent and if you keep that in mind you're looking to charge the phone in just over an hour 200 percent okay so going further down amazon uk for some reason is not compatible so if you're in the uk uh, looking at the xiaomi phone right now the xiaomi mi 5 plus for some reason i wasn't able to install amazon uk app it says the device isn't compatible with this version of amazon uk app anyways so next day again i was using wi-fi my social media again I, th I wanted to test it once more to see if i can get the same sort of screen on times as i did before i can see the blue line shows here um, mostly i was on wi-fi a pretty heavy day and after 14 hours and 40 minutes uh, of total usage i was able to achieve uh, three hours and 46 minutes of screen on time uh, with battery down to 49 percent i kept on using the phone same way guys youtubing instagramming google plus social media voice calls here and there left and right and eventually i was able to achieve after one day and eight hours of total usage i was able to achieve seven hours and 22 minutes of screen on time this is pretty much what i had achieved in the previous screenshot so the phone is well capable of giving you over seven hours of screen on time as long as you're not gaming or streaming this was all normal use social media whatsapp facebook in bits and bobs making phone calls using your camera you should be able to achieve over seven hours of screen on time with only wi-fi not 4g some sort of error came up on the ui as well i wanted to show you this guys but uh, it had no effect i just just uh, put on report or cancel and it wouldn't affect the ui anyway there are some software bugs which i'll be discussing in my future video guys very soon okay down to as you can see battery down to five percent and eventually on 4g wi-fi using like i said camera social media bits and bobs i was able to achieve a uh, total screen on time after two days of using it once again it took me two days to kill the battery i was able to achieve six hours and 19 minutes of screen on time here i was slightly more heavier on the camera as you can see here guys i was taking more photos that's why if you use the camera a bit i'm sure it will reduce the screen on time by, ju by just a bit but not by too much so in the end a uh, six hours and 19 minutes of screen on time here okay I, I think i was charging i was charging the phone again i wanted to see how long would it take to charge the phone so three percent at 844 and it was around 959 i had gone up to 84 percent so it was pretty much the same as it was before like i said if you're going to be using the phone all the way till the end and then charge it up it will take approximately around two hours to fully charge it but if you charge it from say around 30 percent you should be able to charge the phone in just over an hour or maybe an hour and a half or something like that okay so that was pretty much it guys my uh, impressions of the battery life so far both on wi-fi and 4g it is able to give us some decent amount of uh, uh, screen on times by the way the screen on time was a bit less here uh, sorry i forgot to mention this on uh, six hours and 19 minutes because of two reasons firstly like i said camera and also mostly i was using 4g as you can see on the graph here the wi-fi lines are hardly visible i only use wi-fi occasionally just to upload a video or a few bits and bobs here and there but mostly i was on 4g or there was no signal because i work in a place where the signal is not good so i turn the airplane mode on that's why you see no signal here but whenever i was using the phone i was using it mostly on 4g so on 4g lte i was uh, achieving around uh, six hours and 19 minutes of screen on time with less wi-fi and more 4g lte but still the battery performance is good like i said the phone is well capable of giving you over seven hours of screen on time and also over six hours on 4g lte with that massive huge 3800 milliampere battery and only a 5.7 inch uh, 1080p panel you're looking um, with this phone probably a full day over a day and if you're an average user maybe you could even achieve more than two days as well so from my side a well done by xiaomi for giving us a big battery on this phone a top in specs and a lovely uh, looking phone with top end performance so guys if you got any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and like always please give my video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe as it helps and i shall see you in the next video